I'm Rakombu and I'm here with the massive mighty Huawei Mate 9, a 5.9 inch phone with premium specs which was launched yesterday uh, to compare it with the Galaxy S7 Edge from Samsung to see what the difference is. Well as you can see there's a bit of a difference in terms of dimensions, uh, the 5.5 inch S7 Edge used to feel rather big but now it feels quite compact in comparison to the mighty Mate 9. As you can see it's uh, a little bit smaller in stature, certainly thinner, uh, but when it comes to the actual uh, thickness of the phone, it's about the same as you see there. Um, so that's quite impressive considering the, the size of this beast here, the Mate 9. Uh, the S7 Edge has a, an edge haha, over the Mate 9 in that it's water resistant, which is nice. It's also suitably rugged, we've had this for about 6 months now. As you see, there's not a scratch with dent on it, it's very, very solid indeed. The Mate 9 also feels nice and rugged with this little aluminium finish as well though, so uh, no flex or weak points in it. Very, very solid indeed and a nice heft to it as well. And you can also get it in a dark grey model here in the UK, uh, which also looks quite nice. And uh, yeah, they certainly, certainly uh, both feel quite nice in the hands. The S7 Edge is definitely easy to use one-handed, though, and you've got the one-handed mode and everything on it as well. Although at least you do have fingerprint uh, shortcuts uh, using the fingerprint sensor on the Mate 9 to make uh, one-handed use of that a little bit simpler. Um, so of course, yeah, you got a fingerprint sensor which is super fast and accurate. You can see a quick tap and you immediately get uh, loaded up into your desktops. You also get a fingerprint sensor built into the S7 Edge here, just in the home button, which again, super fast and responsive. As for the screens, you get a nice 5.5 HD Super AMOLED on the S7 Edge, which is absolutely stunning. As you can see, perfectly sharp and nice vibrant colors as well. Um, the Mate 9, it's almost as vibrant, it's not quite as punchy, but uh, certainly up there, nice vivid colors. And you've, uh, you can fiddle around with the, uh, the display in the settings as well to uh, fiddle with uh, the brightness and the color temperature as well, get it just the way you want it. And there is an eye comfort mode which filters out blue light at night, just like Apple's night shift mode. Uh, it's not quite as sharp, unfortunately, as the S7 Edge with a full HD uh, finish, but as you can see, it's still perfectly crisp. Uh, you'll really struggle to make out individual pixels in there. So definitely a gorgeous screen and nice and spacious for your movies and the rest. As for processors, you get Huawei's latest Kirin 960 packed into the Mate 9, and it's super, super nippy. We've had no, seen no stutters or anything like that when using it. But the S7 Edge, whether it's Snapdragon 820 or it's Exynos, depending on your region, it's still nice and nippy as well. You'll really struggle to see any kind of slowdown there. As you can see, hitting their uh, apps, the, uh, the apps pop up pretty much instantly. Um, there's maybe a slight delay on the S7 Edge compared to the Mate 9, but nothing that noticeable. And it should stand the test of time quite nicely. Uh, battery life, you get a massive 4,000 million battery packed into the Mate 9, which promises up to two days of life. We've been going for close to 24 hours now, and uh, it's, it wasn't a full charge before, so it's used probably about 40 or 50 percent. So, fingers crossed, it will hit two days with, uh, with sort of a reasonable amount of use. The S7 Edge only get about a day's worth uh, before that dies in death. Uh, with, with sort of reasonably heavy usage, uh, maybe slightly over a day. Uh, they've both got some form of fast charge as well. You get supercharge, I believe it is, in the Huawei, uh, which promises to charge up in about an hour and a half. You get plenty of use out of half an hour in the plug as well. Uh, the S7 Edge, you've got Samsung's adaptive fast charging, which isn't quite as impressive. It's not as good as like quick charge 3.0 and stuff, but it's okay. You know, it does the job. Uh, so you want to hang it around too long, wait for your phone to charge up. Uh, as for the camera tech as well, the S7 Edge has still got one of the best cameras of the year. Um, it's a 12 megapixel lens, it's super fast to uh, focus, and you can take shots the instant you hit the shutter button. There's tons of modes and everything tucked away as well, full manual controls in the pro mode, and you get the likes of obviously the virtual shots and all the rest of it too. And one of the key features of the Huawei Mate 9 is that dual lens second generation Leica camera on the back there. So you can see you get two tone LED flash, and you get plenty of autofocus tech as well, phase detection, laser, uh, depth field and all the rest of it as well. So uh, if you load up the camera app, as you can see it's nice and fast to focus and you can take shots the instant you hit the shutter button as usual. Uh, and you can also do full burst mode just like you can on the S7 Edge. You can also pull out this little handy manual controls there if you want to do a very specific photo. You can push that away again to get back to auto mode. And with a quick click there's also tons of various modes uh, just like there is on the S7 Edge. Uh, so the likes of HDR and of course uh, Huawei is very uh, trademark light painting mode now. Uh, so flip back to auto mode there and you can shoot full uh, 4K footage on this just as you can on the S7 Edge as well with full optical image stabilization. So hopefully your home movies and your photo should look nice and sharp and detailed. We're going to do a full Huawei Mate 9 camera review. Uh, so stay tuned for that and we'll do a comparison with the S7 and the S7 Edge and all the other big smartphone cameras of 2016 as well. So that in a nutshell, very briefly, is the S7 Edge versus the Huawei Mate 9. Um, let us know in the comments below which one you would pick. And thanks for watching everyone, cheers.